hear something. Oh, there he is. So that's the first one. So, welcome back, gaming community. It's night time, and the weather is kind of crappy and noisy, but it is what it is. So, the last couple of days, I've been... Well, mostly building mass, building power, collecting sinew. Uh, I haven't used this much rope in a, such a short time, uh, like uh, ever. <laughs> so I did a, a cougar run a few days ago in game, and I got about 40 or 50 sinew. And I need, uh, well, at least a hundred more, I believe, to get everything up to where I want it. But uh, as winter is coming up closely, uh, I can't do this uh, cougar runs as I normally do, because it will be too freaking cold. So I'm thinking I'll bring you on a cougar run today. I have earlier recorded a cougar run, but uh, I didn't have a mic then. So uh, I figured I'll do one now. And when I do a cougar run, I start out very early in the morning. I have to do that to, well, get through my entire track. It's kind of a... Uh, oh, it's not a lap like uh, my other runs. It's more a back and forth run. So, I'm thinking it will soon start to be light. So, let's... Uh, let's start getting ready for it. Uh, save all the power we can, turn off the lights. So, how are we doing? As you can see, I'm in the middle of my base and it's zero degrees, so winter is definitely coming. Okay, we are building up steadily and I'm losing a bit now because this is running. I'm not going to risk running out of power while I'm gone. So, let's throw this in there. Uh, this and this. No, not this one, but this one. And I'm building some of these. Now, when I do a cougar run, I like to bring a few of these protein bars. I also need vegetables and water. And I need plenty of ammo. Uh, I could fill up some more of these. Like so and so. I soon will have to start producing these. I also switched to this gun now, it's upgraded three times, so, but uh, my senior is down to 14, and I have one rope left, and to get this up I need, ooh, 12 I believe, so yeah, I'm thinking we'll bring a fish with us. So we have some food on the way. Now, uh, this might be a bit dark in the beginning. And possibly also in the end. But I have no choice if I'm going to make it through the entire thing. So I don't see the sun coming up yet. So let's see how the plants are doing. And I have to check uh, the kids. We can probably harvest tomorrow. Let's go check on the kids. And you need to get filled up. Like so. And all of these are now producing iron. I have shut this down for the moment because, well, I really don't need to produce anything. But 
as you can see, copper is full, this is full, this is full, so only iron is missing, and we have some extras down here. So, yeah. Really crappy weather. Another thing. Uh, oh, I'm getting short. I bring two of these. And the reason for that is we are covering a large area. A really large area. We are going... Let's see. The route starts... Okay, so there's hunters there. And this is where Charlie has started their new base. And we start the route here and we follow it all through here over here we might do a little search here to find it then we come up here and over here and this is where the last one is and then we run pass through here we won't be near this because we'll cut through over here to get to my base there, just to throw off some things. Then we do the entire run back again. So, it seems that hunters or rogues will not be a problem for us. But I'm thinking it's getting lighter outside. Yep. So, we are good to go. I will think I'll grab another fish, just in case. I mostly survive on livers during this run. So, anything here? Nope. Then let's start. Now, I do not deviate much from the route. I only pick up uh, essentials, uh, but uh, I do pick up vegetables because I can just eat them. If it's uh, a seed like this potato was, I will throw that out if I need the space. Because, as I said, we might get two upgrades. And there's a bear. So we take a little loop here so I don't run into Charlie. It's just one or two dudes there at the moment. But, anyways, you see? Minus five, so it's a bit cold actually. Yeah, let's run. Let's take this. And I have to listen to uh, the cougar roar, roaring or whatever I, you call it. So that's a wolf. I'm not going to tangle with him. It's only cougars. First one is around here somewhere, or a bit higher. Oh, there it is. So let's get some distance. And any other animals around? See some color things, but I'm not sure. This is freaking in this sound. Okay. So, that's one down, and the temperature is not good. We will use a lot of uh, proteins, so let's eat this already. I did this uh, about three days in-game or something, and the temperature was not a problem at all. But we could expect uh, snow any day, actually. We're still in November, yes. But, anyways. So. Oh, two yogis. Nice. I really didn't like that. But I can't help it. I have to go this way. So hopefully we'll lose them before we find the next cougar. See, I'm 
skipping that box. I would have skipped that even if I didn't was got a bear on my tail. So this is the next place a cougar could be anywhere. So let's listen. He could be all the way over there also. I hope he's not. And my health is really dropping. So... And I can't spend too much time go searching for the cougars. That's a wolf. I think I might have to yeah, that's a bush. give up the search for this cougar, but there usually spawns one in here. So, just do a quick peek up here. Nope, he could also be high up in the mountains. This cougar has a long or a wide area that he travels. So, we will move on to the next site. And it seems like the temperature is on our side and it stopped raining, thank God. And we're coming up on the first uh, locked crate area. There's usually a locked grate around here, well, more down like there, but I'm interested in cougars, not locked grates. So this is the other spawn area. Now this cougar also move at a pretty big area. So we'll see if he's down here where... Nope. This is... Oh, and it's going to start raining again. That's typical. Okay, so we'll go up here. He is probably up on the mountains there. So let's listen in for the purr. That's a wolf. I'll have to kill that wolf because he is in my way. Oh, there he is. I don't see or hear a cougar yet. But I think I will have this out just in case. Now if you remember the video where I fought those rogues and... He's close. There is. Oh, 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 thank God. I was afraid he'd surprise me there. Yeah, the cougar that attacked us while we were attacking the rogues. This is that cougar. So we got two cougars now. And the next one is just over on the other side of the river so I need to add a zero degrees so we're good with temperature it's a bit colder because we are wet but can't help it now the next three cougars spawn sometimes pretty close let's go up so I've actually seen two cougars uh, side by side and I had to use my bow to kind of 
attract one at a time. Let's go up top here, just have a peek. I hear something. Oh, there he is. So that's the first one. This area, and we're too cold again. Is that a wolf down there, or was it a cougar? I have to go in closer. Now where did my cougar go? Oh, there it is. Like so. So that's three, I believe. Let me just check if... Yeah, those are wolf. So this area is actually crawling with animals. And we do have... Uh, oh, I can't remember where the rogues were. But... Uh, there is a spawn point for rogues down there. And this is also... All this area is actually a uh, locked crate spawn point. So, that could be anywhere also. to listen for any... Oh, thank God, it stopped raining. And... Are you up here, I wonder? And we're starting to rain again. Damn this weather. So, where is that cougar? What are you? You're a wolf and you're a bear. You should have seen another cougar now. Uh, well, as I said, I can't uh, keep searching too long. Yeah, there's a wolf somewhere. Oh, that's where he is. Okay. So, I don't see any here. Then I'll have to go up. Now, I'm not taking any risks. As I said, they could be anywhere. This one. Almost lost sight of him. So that would be number four, I believe. Yep. So and the next one. Not here. We'll keep going. And not up here, so he's probably down here somewhere. I thought I heard him. Hello, bear. Uh, nope. And there's one there, but it should be another one here also. But I might have passed the first one, so unless he's up here, I don't know where he is. Yeah, I think we passed the. F First one. Okay. Let's go take out this one on the other side there. And this episode uh, might be a bit long. Just a heads up. So. 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 
house number five. And we really need to eat. As I said, uh, this cold weather is really bad for us. So, now, the entire spawning uh, string, if you can call it that. Oh, uh, I need to watch the time, so I'm dropping everything but uh, construction boxes now, I think. Uh, so, one of them might be... Oh, let's take it also. Might be on this side of the river, if everything kind of has shifted, but there should not be any more uh, uh, cougars uh, left on the on this route. I only use this to get back to Jesus. Uh, yeah, get back to my uh, uh, my base base, and uh, so just to let the time go, so I leave enough room for. Uh, the cougars to spawn in again as I go back. It's a bear there, and I didn't want to go too close for the rogues up there. But I think we're safe. And I guess we have about seven or eight minutes left of daytime I'm not sure so I could really use uh, another liver but I didn't get it so I'm thinking we'll dig in those and let's drink also and it's raining again I'm dropping that because the wolf is growling at me. And oh, another one. That. Oh well. Uh, I have to keep an eye on the time. When I did this uh, a few days ago, I. Uh, well, I hit the second spawn point uh, when it was. Well, too dark to uh, to uh, record without editing a lot. Now I will try to edit uh, this one for you, but you know my editing skills, so don't get your hopes up. And when we reach our base down here, we are just dropping off things and going straight back out again. When I was here three or four days ago, I collected uh, all the water from the extractor. It had about two stacks, give or take. And, yep, like so. Now we will uh, drop this off and this off there. Drop this off there. And this, this. I don't think so. This we can drop this. We'll drop this. And uh, not here, but oh, not there either. Here. Uh, we'll drop uh, you off. The planks can stay, and I can leave this also. Yeah. Oh, and the cotton. That can stay. Like so. And then we're heading out again. How is my... yeah. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, the next cougar we come across has some uh, food. I'd love to take out that news, but I don't have the time. And this wolf will follow us a bit. But that's okay. We are now going to head straight up to well 
around the middle of the like the four last spawning points and uh, go from there so coming up on the small no Jesus I'm on the wrong track damn it I'm also on the wrong track uh, well at least I corrected it when I did because we are heading actually here and we have a lot of animals chasing us now I lost about 30 seconds of daylight there, I believe. But there's nothing I can do about it now. So if I go down here... Oh, go the wrong way, I knew it, damn it. And I'll have to cross here. Okay, and that's a bear. So you're gonna chase us a bit. There's a lot of animals here. Okay, I really wanted to be over there. But... Can't help it. So let's cross the river again. Here. And go straight up. He's spawning. Now I have several animals chasing me. And my shotgun only has two shots. So I'm not turning around now. If I see a cougar, I'll probably just drag him with me and take him out up in the mountains. So, as I said, this is often a locked crate area and we haven't found a single one. That's typical when I'm recording. Something is growling. I'm not sure what. So, let's head up here. get a look around I heard too many sounds and I'm not sure what's what okay, this is great let's see yep, there's nothing chasing us that's a chicken we got five cougars so far normally I get at least eight this round, I think my record is 9, but we missed one already, so I can't see anything, I'm just going to take a quick peek out here, and I don't see any uh, wolf cougars that has respawned here, so we are heading back home. Oh, heading back again. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are still acting up. So, these cougars could just... I've run into a cougar once and he just turned around and took a bite out of me. Uh, I'm not quite sure how long between the spawns are, but I think they spawn like two in a day, so, but I'm not sure if it's fixed points or it's so and so since the last one you killed. So, the sun is up there, so we still have, oh, there's a wolf. So we didn't get anyone from those four spawn areas there. So we can max now get three more uh, cougars. Because there are three spawning points left, I believe. So the wolf is still behind me and we're coming up to the one that attacked us when we fought the rogues. He's up here somewhere. The wolf is gone, okay. 
now this one should have spawned back now. I don't see him up here. Does this mean that he is down here? Somewhere, that's a wolf. a wolf there also okay then we'll just take a run for it <sighs> yeah 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 I hear you and I don't see anything but the wolf there and still no lock right here <sighs> and the wolf there here a wolf, there a wolf, everywhere is a wolf. Just check behind here for that cougar. And it doesn't seem to be anyone around, but if there's still a wolf here. Nope. Damn it, this cougar. Okay, I'll gamble for one quick peek. Here. Oh, there it is. So it prob probably just spawned in. Now hopefully, you have a liver. And let's see. And no livers. Damn it. Well, we got six cougars now. Continue on. I'll take the high ground here, and the temperature will soon. Is that a lock crate or up there? Or. No, it wasn't. And I'll skip this medical. So, two more cougars to get. And hopefully, we get them both. And. The sun is really going down now, so let's start listening in. This is the one we didn't find this morning. to miss it now also hmm. strange there's no animals here okay there's a wolf there and the wolf there because the cougar can walk all the way over to, uh, well, the top of the mountain peak where Bravo is. So the sun is going down now. Oh, this cougar seemed to have completely disappeared on us. So. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, we have to give up. Let's find the last cougar. Kinda sucks that I've missed at least two cougars. Uh, but, well, it is what it is. Also, I'm thinking uh, next episode, uh, I think uh, Charlie and Bravo has been evading us long enough. So we should pay them a visit. Don't you agree? Yeah. I think so. I think so. 
sounds like something's chasing us, but I don't, don't know what. Uh, it's just me and my uh, imaginary sounds. So, let's get this cougar. As you can see, it's getting a lot darker now, and we have not spent much time searching around for those cougars, so there is. So to... Oh, and my stamina is crappy. So you see, to do the entire course, back and forth, you don't have that much time. But it is doable. So we ended up with 33 of them. And I think I will do this just in case. I'll take that and put some of Ali over you. Yeah. And let's get back to base. Now, as I mentioned, I ran into some rogues the last time. Hear something? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, so I came down this way, and uh, uh, they camped right there between those two uh, trees. And uh, the strangest thing, uh, too bad I didn't record it, because there was a bear like walking almost over their uh, fire. Uh, without attacking them. Uh, and uh, I thought that was kind of strange. But anyways, I sent an arrow uh, towards uh, uh, one of them. And when he responded, he shot the bear. Well, the bear wasn't peaceful anymore then. So for the first time ever, I had a bear at my side when I was attacking rogues. Uh, unfortunately, they killed the bear pretty quick, so it didn't help me that much. But I quite enjoyed it anyways. So, uh, yeah, I got a bear and a couple of rogues. So, all in all, a good day. Yeah, and... Bye-bye, Wolfie. Yep, now let's go get that crate. Like so. Now, let's look at how this went. And we... I think I'll just throw this for now. So, 33 of those. This I was building, so I have no clue. Oh, we're full. That's nice. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I need to build ropes. So I can build 11 ropes from what I gathered. That's nice. Yeah. Didn't get a locked crate, but... That happens sometimes. I think also I will uh, do like so and create uh, like so. Uh, anything else goes in there? Yes, you go in there. So, yeah, all in all, I find this to be a good run. So, if you in... No, oh, that's wrong. Eh, apples are you go in yeah if you enjoyed this episode please leave a like and subscribe and uh, well you know what i mean about the bell so yeah and i'll probably record this back to back because i want to take out charlie and bravo so uh, how many is that? Yep, that's four. 
that'll do just fine and then we'll build up some more later but I don't need to of you yeah let's eat something and I have nothing to eat I can do so. okay anyways thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye